Hello everyone. Welcome to today's lecture on Half-Life of Drugs. This is a part of Circular Accessories in Pharmacology with me, Sanjay Dekshad. So let's look into what Half-Life of Drugs refers to. Plasma Half-Life, it is the time taken for the plasma concentration of the drug to be reduced to half of its original value. Let us look at the given picture out here. The picture on the left, you can see that the initial concentration of the drug is 16 microgram per ml, and then in four hours, it reduces down to eight microgram per ml. Again, you can see that the slope is constant, right? So you can see that from eight, it goes down to four microgram per ml in another four hours, and similarly from four, it goes down to two. 2 microgram per ml in another 4 hours, right? So if you take the original value as 16, then half-life is the time for the concentration of the drug to be reduced to 8. From 16, it reduces to 8. So the half-life is 4 hours. Since this follows first order kinetics, you can see that for any at any time, you can look at the concentration and then see at which time it, reduce, it comes to Half the initial concentration. Let us take the concentration at time four hour, right, which is eight microgram per ml, and then again, if we see the point at which it comes to fifty percent, that is four microgram per ml, then it's again four hours. Similarly, from four microgram per ml to two microgram per ml, it takes another four hours. So this is half life, the time taken for the plasma concentration of the drug to be to be reduced to half of its original value. If you look at the picture on the right, the right, this picture here, this is on a log scale, this is on a linear scale. You normally plot on a log, a log scale if the difference in the data points is relatively high. The fast decreasing slope is generally due to the distribution of the drug within the body tissues and this more gradual slope is due to the elimination of the drug. So the plot has two slopes. The initial rapidly declining alpha phase, it did, denotes distribution and the later less declining beta phase, it denotes elimination. So at least two different types of half-lives can be calculated from two slopes. The elimination half-life derived from beta slope is called half-life of the drug. So when we say half-life, it, it is the beta elimination or the beta slope of the drug that we calculate the half-life. Okay, now let us look into the significance of half-life as to why is it significant. The agents that have got very short half-life would require an intravenous infusion to maintain continued presence of drug. The drugs like lidocaine, dopamine, they may be required to be given continuously as an IV infusion. However, other drugs can be given at intervals of five times the T half. And that is because the continued presence of the drug is not required. And this is seen in case of post-antibiotic effect in that even after the, after the antibiotic is eliminated from the body, the effect of the antibiotic does not wear off for a certain period of time. And that's called post-antibiotic effect. And in another cases, it, is called, it may be efficacy half-life. Efficacy half-life is different from the normal half-life in that efficacy half-life takes into account the effectiveness of the drug or the efficacy of the drug. So the time it would take for a drug to lose half of its effectiveness or efficacy is called efficacy half-life. So why is it that the efficacy half-life is more as compared to the normal half-life? In case of normal half-life, we are talking about the pharmacokinetics, right? But then efficacy half-life is something that's linked with pharmacodynamics. Let us have a look at different agents and the plasma half-lives, right? Lidocaine, the plasma half-life 13 minutes is for distribution half-life and 1.7 hours for elimination half-life. Penicillin G, in all other cases, we have just mentioned the elimination half-life. This is the lidocaine. We gave you the example of distribution half-life. Penicillin G, 56 minutes. Amoxicillin, 1 hour. Indomethacin, 1 to 2 hours. And cimetidin, 2 hours. And this is the time to plate you or time to elimination, which is almost 5 times the half-life.
earlier we said about the efficacy half life right so hit and run drugs is quite similar to that of the concept is quite similar to that of efficacy half life if you recall what is domino effect then you letting the first domino fall would make the series of dominoes fall consequently right so this kind of effect can be seen with drugs as well the drugs can act on this very thing and this will cause a series of events to happen so even after long after the drug is gone out gone from the system the effect will be seen in the body so a drug may bind to its receptor it may elicit a response and the drug may then be excreted from the body however the effect of the drug may continue to be seen because of the cascade of events that follows as a result of drug binding to its receptor okay so that was all about half life thank you everyone happy learning uh, this is a part of cheat sheet of pharmacology at mcq pool thank you see you again in the next lecture bye bye good day